Today, we're up in the mountains at a venue that offers some of the most unique and entertaining hosting in Utah. Here, you can attend the 2002 Winter Games Museum, ride a bobsled, and watch ski jumpers practice and perform during your event. Our vendor spotlight this week is the Utah Olympic Park. Well, thanks for joining me today, Cole. No, you're welcome. I'm happy to be here. Uh, so obviously, it's a very unique facility. We can see that behind us. Mm -hmm. uh, but in addition to you know, having the museum and having some unique uh, things going on here for the Olympic training, why should somebody hold their meeting or event here? What do you have to offer a, a wedding or an event that other places don't? Well, I think it's just one of the most unique experiences, whether it's a wedding or a big corporate meeting. Uh, just to go into like a wedding example, we had a wedding this summer where the couple actually extreme tubed down into before they walked in, right? So that was their grand entrance as we sent them down the 90s. So it's incorporating so cool. those unique activities like that. Same thing for corporate meeting groups. We have a dozen different meeting rooms that you can go through here, pick and choose what you want. But don't just make it a, a normal boring meeting, right? We can have a break during the day where we send your whole group out, do extreme tubing. We can get them on a summer bobsled, a winter bobsled, or any other number of activities that we have here. So it's super unique in that sense where we let you kind of pick and choose what you want to do and, and everything's unique. I love that and I am planning to do the, the bobsled this winter. I'm very excited. I've also done events here where partway through the event, the, the ski jumpers will put on a show. Everybody goes nuts for that. It's all they talk about for days or weeks afterwards. Everybody watching the ski jumpers do their thing. Um, you guys are also constantly expanding, working with long-term plans. What are you guys working on and planning for the next year, two years, five years? Yeah, so we're planning quite a bit right now. As a lot of people know here in Utah that we're actually trying to bid on another Olympics, either 2030 or 2034. So there's constant improvements to the venues that need to be made. I mean, this venue was christened in the late 90s. Some of the technology infrastructure needs to be upgraded. Some of the tracks infrastructure needed to be upgraded. And we, we're doing that slowly. Um, but our main focus here is all about training athletes, right? Whether it's the pool behind us, the new Alpine Hill that we just got built this last year. We had to redirect an entire road. We had to bring in a bunch of fill dirt to make this new hill, put in a, a chairlift that we got from Deer Valley. And in the coming years, we're actually gonna be expanding the West Peak, which is just to the west of our bobsled track. And we're gonna incorporate a giant slalom run. We're gonna incorporate a huge moguls run. So it's gonna be a training facility where everyone can come here, literally from three years old, up to the 30 year old Olympians will be able to train here. And the thing is, it's not just a winter thing. Like we do a lot of winter sport training here, right? But the summers are so busy and so vibrant with our activities and honestly with training opportunities in the pool, our giant airbag. So everything that we do in the winter time, we try to do in the summer as well. That's great. And I, this is one of the spots that I always bring friends. If they come in from out of town, they want to see Park City, they want to hear about the Olympics, they want to see what it's like in the mountains. We always stop here. We'll stop at Main Street Park City. We'll go through Big Cottonwood Canyon. And this is one of the spots that they remember the best. Uh, there's so much going on here. It's such a unique venue. Uh, I really love it. Um, so thanks for joining me today. And thanks for watching our Vendor Spotlight of the Week.